Once we moved out here, it became apparent that we would need to have a whole bunch of tools that you don't normally have when you live in the city. There's not much use for chainsaws in the middle of San Francisco, unless you are planning on doing something illegal. <laughs> uh, anyway, when we moved out here, we discovered a whole bunch of trees that had been severely burned in some of the wildfires that happened a couple years ago. And this was pretty much a dream come true for my husband, who absolutely loves to create you know, new things from old things, whether it's an old beat up antique piece of furniture or some sort of cool branch he's found somewhere. He loves to reimagine it and turn it into something decorative and cool and creative. So when we came out here, uh, of course, discovering this, he was super inspired and came to me and said, we really need to buy a chainsaw. And of course I was, as with everything else, um, <laughs> like the riding lawnmower and the tractor and the ATV, I was a little bit hesitant at first and then realized that actually we kind of do need these things if we are going to make the most out of our experience out here. So we are now the owner of uh, this chainsaw and I've never used it. I don't really have any desire to use it yet, but it is kind of fun watching him uh, work on these projects and what's happening here is he's going to be making slices of this tree trunk and I think the plan is to create some end tables uh, or side tables for our living room or for anyone else who might want them. So it's quite the, <laughs> quite the process here but he's making progress and I'm pretty excited to see how it's all going to turn out in the end. <laughs> 